peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, guys. Mark the Messenger, back with another video. It's supposed to be about seven signs God wants you to be with someone. I made a video that seven signs God doesn't want you with someone. Signs that um, Satan sends people your way, but there's also times where God can send people your way too. These are seven signs to know that someone's being sent by God, the Most High God. Now, of course, there's more signs, but these are just the ones at the top of the head. Let's get this go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's go to so number one. And this is probably none of this is in order, but I definitely feel like this is like the most important thing is being equally yoked. Okay. I'm gonna leave the picture right here, which shows you an example what happens when you're in a relationship, you being a believer in Christ, you being a believer in God, and that person, that girl or that guy, that's not, that's how it is. This is how it is, guys. So this is how in the spiritual realm, that's how it is. What fellowship does light have with darkness? What fellowship does righteousness have with unrighteousness? I'm also gonna leave a verse right there too for you guys to read. You don't know that verse already uh this is a verse we should be meditating on especially when it comes to friendships because unequally yoked or equally yoked doesn't it's not only with the relationships it's also friendships too we want to be friends with like-minded people how could two walk together and excited to be agreed so this is a good verse to meditate on whenever you're uh dealing with you know should i be with him should i be with her and not, not just relationship wise but for friendship wise too so being equally yoked is key a gem i gotta highlight this because this is definitely something you have to have the same faith in christ now just because someone believes in christ doesn't really mean much because the Bible says that you got to test the spirits because many false prophets has come out to the world. It also says you know a tree by its fruits. A good tree can't bear bad fruit and a bad tree can't bear good fruit. So you got to examine them, have discernment. Okay. Um, also mutual attraction, interest. You feel comfortable in that piece. You ever sometimes get like someone trying to force a friendship on you. Someone just trying to force a relationship on you and you're trying to take your time, be patient and they're just trying to force it on you. Okay. They're always going to be texting you, calling you, always trying to hang out with you. Even though y'all just hung out like a couple days ago, they always got to be hanging out with you. Like that's, that's something you got to watch out for. Most of the people guys, most of those dudes who, <laughs> most of those guys who, um, who try to force their friendship on me, they were agents. They were sent by the devil. Okay. They always try to force it. Always try to hang out. Always texting me. Always try to bug me. Like, bro, give me my space. Give me, that's a, that's a red flag. It's like, who sent you? You got to start asking these people guys, who sent you? You either sent by God. That's why I'm going over these signs. Or you're sent by the enemy. You're sent by the devil. Okay, so always got to ask people who sent you straight up. Okay, mutual attraction. You And a lot of times, guys, a lot of brothers hit me up telling me they married a woman they're not even attracted to. So now they've got to resort to watching the websites. Make sure you're attracted to someone. Just because they believe in God and Jesus, that's great. You got to be, you got to have some type of attraction. Okay, that's the key. Um, also, don't be just attracted to... She got a fat this, and you know, nice face. That's cool and all, but her soul, her spirit, that's what you should be really attracted to. You know, that's that should be number number one before it's physical beauty, okay? Um, and uh, you know, mutual interests. You feel comfortable, feel at peace with them. These are all green flags. So there's a red flags is like bad, and a green flag I think is green means it's like good signs. So uh, number two, this is a key. This could this could be number one too. Oh, I'm gonna go in this video. This is okay. So willing to sacrifice to stay together. Actions speak louder than words. So what does it mean to willing to sacrifice to stay together? Because you got to understand when it comes to you wanting to, now I'm going to talk about relationships for this for number two. All right. This, yeah, this is more about relationships and friendships for number two. Let's say if you guys want to get in a marriage, right? Let's say you have some, remember, because misery loves company. You have some friends who are on the bottom, who are on a low frequency, low vibration. They're not happy with their life. They, so you being friends with them, they, they don't want you to be, they don't want you to be happy. They want you to be miserable with them. Okay. And God's giving you a blessing, a husband, a boyfriend or a boy, you know, whatever it's working towards, right? Too, right. And you know that these people are bad influences in your life. And you know that these people are going to influence you to sin. Anyone who's influenced you to sin, to do evil, to do wrong, is not of God. Let's keep common sense, people. Let's not be fools anymore. Let's have wisdom. Okay. So you got to be willing to sacrifice those friends to trust God that this man or this woman that's coming my way is sent from God and together we can grow together, uh, glorify God together. Because that's why I tell you guys all the time, a relationship is always about glorifying God together. That's what number one is. You know, you always want to center center your relationships, not just with, with like other people too, but also yourself. Center your life around God. That should be number one. Okay, so that person must be willing to sacrifice to give it. Let's, let's say they got certain sins that's dividing you guys. Because when you open doors to sin, you open uh, spiritual demonic doors, uh, website addictions, fornication, uh, smoking. If they're not willing to give that up to be with you, to, to fight those demons, because that's what they are. You to fight those, if they ain't willing to do that, they ain't worthy of you. Because think about it, guys. Jesus says if you, if you, if you love your father, your mother, your children, your wife, um, 
all that more than me. You're not worthy than me because he died on the tree for our sins. Okay. So he did all that for us. So if we can't give up temporary stuff, we're not worthy for internal salvation. We ain't worried for that. We ain't worthy of that. Same thing with these, with the woman that get in your life, guys. They ain't willing to give up their, their toxic friends, their three or four, three or four friends. They ain't willing to give that up. They ain't worthy of you. <laughs> Simple as I. Jesus is a man. We got to be man too. They ain't willing to give up certain sins that you know that's going to open door for, doors for Satan to come and destroy you guys. Not only her, but you too. Because Satan uses vessels to destroy you. Okay? If they ain't worthy to, to give up certain things, certain sins, certain friends, whatever the case may be, they ain't willing to sacrifice, then they ain't, they ain't waiting for the king. <laughs> they, they, they ain't willing. Because the Bible says that honor is not seemly for a fool. Okay, fools don't understand what it, what, it, what it, the being the presence would. That's why when my king shirt, <laughs> you guys gonna see because crossed out. That's what you, they ain't they ain't worthy. They don't know. So let the good let them go. And never, guys, before I go with number three, never lower your value. Never lower your standards to get with someone. You don't do that, guys. Always understand that your value in Christ. That's the highest value you could have on this earth. Don't let no one fool you. It's not material stuff. Because people who value their confidence in material stuff, that's not real. Because what if they lose that? Now, what confidence do they have? So always understand it's always the things that are unseen that we got to be focusing on, not the things that are seen. Number three, let's get it. Let's go. This could correlate to number two. All right, number three is when storms and trial tribulations come or when Satan attacks, you guys fight him together. Usually, guys, especially before the, uh, the marriage stage. Now, sometimes it could happen in marriages, but let's say if in the relationship stage, and, you know, Satan doesn't like when God brings people together. Remember, Satan is, he likes to divide. He likes to sow discord. Uh, he likes to slander. I mean, he, he likes to do all this type of things, right? He likes to falsely accuse. What Satan will do, he will try to plant seeds. And usually the woman, because Satan went to Eve before he, before he got, got to, how Satan got to Adam was by using Eve, using the weaker vessel, okay? So one thing what Satan will do, he'll use the woman to plant seeds in her mind. This is spiritual warfare talk, man. Y'all smash it. Y'all smash it like button, man. This is this is what it is. Okay, so he when when the trials and tribulations comes, when the storm comes, okay, when Satan attacks, you guys are fighting together. Whether prayer, fasting, whatever the case may be, you guys are fighting it together. You guys are not just giving up. Okay, just 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 you know, I'm done. I'm quitting. No, someone who's trying to fight y'all and fight the devil together is someone worthy of, to, worthy to keep. Okay, always understand that. Now, of course. Is it going to be the same day? Obviously not. When you're in a when you're in a war, do you win the war the same day? Sometimes it takes days. Sometimes it takes weeks. Whatever the case may be, but at least they're showing signs that okay, Satan is attacking something. Let me try to fight. Like let's say, because Satan could give people a dream, right? And people are a lot of people are fools. They don't understand that not all dreams come from God. So they they let that they let that, they let that dream deceive them. And they, now they think that, oh, you know, they, they're, they're not wise. They, only, they thought that that dream came from God, but it came from the enemy. Now that seed, that planted in their mind, now they believe that you know, you're the enemy, you're the devil, you're such a bad person, but Satan planted the seed. So always understand that. All right, so that's key, guys. They want to fight. You guys, so that's what the number three is pretty much means. Fighting Satan together, or not just always Satan. Sometimes you could be in a storm tribulation. That's not always the devil. But let's say if you're in that, Okay, because sometimes God will do this, guys, to increase your faith or to test you. Look at Job, okay? To, it can increase your faith to test you because the blessing always comes before the test. Always understand that. So that's someone that's built, someone that's built to last. All right, number four is they go out their way to invest their time and energy to go the extra mile. And I should have put actions speak louder than words for number four. But this is what pretty much means, guys. Actions speak louder than words. Someone could easily say they love you. Oh, I'm down for you. Oh, you my dog. You my dog. This is not whatever, right? But the actions speak louder than words. If someone's investing their time and energy and they go the extra mile to want to be with you, that's someone who God wants to you, okay? Because that person really likes you and they're going the extra mile. That's what you want, okay? That's exactly what you want. Look at the story of Ruth and Bose, okay? Ruth, she chased Bose. She chased them. Bose was a, was a prize. Us, man of God, we are the prize. A woman should be, my, that's my belief system. A lot of people are going to disagree with me. There's going to be some Jezebels that are pissed off. The spirit in them is going to be pissed off at me saying this. But it is what it is. Woo! It is what it is. You got to be a man. If you have value in your life, you're a man of, uh, man of God. The woman should be chasing you. You're the prize. Okay? Always, always understand that number five is. And now, of course, I got to have some balances because I know some Eves are going to be mad at this for me saying that. Of course, a man should be doing things too, obviously. Okay, obviously. But I feel like the woman should definitely be letting it be known that she likes him. The man, you know, does his thing after. Number five is they want to seek God's kingdom together, 
Uh, the relationship, I gotta highlight this, the relationship glorifies God, okay? That's what it's all about. Like I said, none of this is in the order. And uh, they're led by the spirit of truth, woo! Especially as a man, it's really rare to find a woman who's led by the spirit of truth, that's not led by her emotions or feelings. So when you meet a woman that's led by the spirit of truth, that's not led by her feelings, not led by her emotions, okay? That's the woman you wanna deal with, okay? All you kings out there, right? You know, the relationship too, the relationship together glorifies God. You guys, it's not always just about carnal things. It's not always about doing things of the flesh. It's also, you know, doing things of the spirit. So always understand that. This is signs. This is signs that God wants you to be with someone. Now, when, when someone comes your way, guys, are they going to be without sin? Are they going to be perfect? Obviously not. Okay, so let's not be overly religious and judge people because they got some flaws. If you see them try to fight that demon off or try to fight something off, then that's good. But if someone's like willfully surrendering to whatever sin, whatever temptation, then that's when you got to question it. But if you see someone humble and like, yeah, I'm struggling with this, I'm trying to fight it off, that's somebody you want to, you know, be patient with, okay? Because God was patient with you, right? He was patient with you, so you got to be patient with other people too. And number six is, this is simple, God answers your prayers. Sometimes we can pray, you know, we ask God, you know, is this person for us? Uh, remember, not just a relationship too, it could be a friendship. We ask God, we pray. Sometimes God says no, sometimes God says yes. So that's how sometimes you can ask God yourself. And you, you'll get the answers. Now, how does God give you the answers? There's many ways. You can get a dream. Uh, you could pray for something, right? And then, like, let's say if you guys show together. Like, let's say if you're a woman, right? And you guys show together the next day. And the next day, he's like, um, you know, I have thoughts of marrying you. Not to say he's going to marry you right there. But stuff like that, you know, you got to pay attention, okay? That means, like, that's a guy with good intentions. A guy who actually doesn't just want to smash you. Who, who actually wants to build with you. That's the type of, that's the type of relationship that's going to last. But remember, relationships that are just about the flesh is just going to last for a season. That's why these relationships, these modern relationships nowadays, guys, it's all seasonal because it's all about the flesh. It's all about serving the flesh. All right, so number seven is they become a part of your life. Okay, before you marry someone, um, you know, you guys just find yourself like your life revolves around them. But And that's 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 a sign of, okay, maybe you guys might to get married. Okay, they want they know they know a lot about you. Um, you know, stuff like that. They become a part of your life, want to hang out with you, want to be around your presence. And this is linked to, you know, feeling comfortable, being, being comfortable together. And uh, that's what it's about, man. So let's go over a quick summary. Seven signs God wants you to be with someone. Number one is equally yoked, mutual attraction and interest. You guys feel comfortable and at peace together. Number two is willing to sacrifice to stay together. Uh, number three is when storms, trial and tribulations come or when Satan attacks, you guys fight them together. I, I made sure to say that not all storms and trials and tribulations are of the devil. So it's going to be someone saying, thinking I'm taking it out of context. So I got to be very clear on that. Number four is go out their way to invest their time and energy. They'll go the extra mile. And I, I should have put this as number four. Actions speak louder than words. That's how people deceive you guys by their words. But their actions, you can't. They can't deceive you with their actions. Their words, you can deceive somebody. Number five is they want to seek God's kingdom together and his righteousness. Um, the relationship glorifies God or the friendship. Uh, or um, And they're led by the spirit of truth. That's, that's the key, guys, the spirit of truth, not led by their feelings, not led by their emotions, but by the spirit of truth. Okay, number six, God answers your prayers. You ask God himself for the son and he answers your prayers. Number seven is they become a part of your life. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you wish to support me, my links are down below. And check out this end screen right here. Um, if you guys want to watch that, that's the sign. I forgot the title of the video, but I'll leave the end screen right here if you guys want to check it out. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.